photo of photographer Charmaine Marinkovic is set to put together a gorgeous coffee table book celebrating the strength of Kiwi women, filled with incredible stories and stunning photographs of strong, beautiful and inspiring wahine. Beautifully scarred will feature those who have been through some form of trauma and survived. Charmaine now joins us. Good morning to you. Yes, morning, Charmaine. Yes. Lovely to have you here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the general sort of photography work that you do. Yeah, so I'm uh, mainly a portrait photographer for women. I started that five years ago um, because I was um, a wedding photographer for 14 years and decided I didn't want to do that anymore and so I swapped to portraits and I just miss photographing the brides really. I really enjoyed that. You did like <laughs> groom yeah, yeah, the know. brides. Yeah and I just thought why you know we celebrate on our wedding day why not celebrate any any time of the year. <laughs> and and so, this yeah, I guess is yeah. where beautifully scarred fell into your life. Well, yeah, I started to hear a lot of stories from the woman that I was photographing. They were sharing um, personal stories with me and um, and I got to see how they kind of came through it uh, or if they were still kind of dealing with that. And, yeah, so there were a lot of scars that were happening. Because it's quite an intimate thing, isn't it, when you're taking a photo of somebody? Oh, absolutely. Not many people like having their photo taken. <laughs> no, so you really yeah. have to work to relax them. Yeah, it's, it's just, again, having a conversation with them and, yeah, making them feel really comfortable in front of the camera. And yeah. Some stories come out. Yeah, absolutely. What gave you the idea to put the book together? Uh, well, I, was, I did talk to another lady who had a story and she wanted to share it in some form. And then I realised I actually have my own story and all the women I've been photographing have their stories. And I thought it would be really nice to start the, that conversation and bring it out um, to make it yeah, more common, I guess. To What's talk your about. story? Uh, so I um, was a young mum and that was really... You know, great time in my life, uh, but my relationship um, was quite abusive um, with lots of drugs and abuse in it. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had to escape that relationship. And um, and then I came out and had a lot of anxiety and had like big, um, large anxiety attacks and uh, low self esteem, didn't like who I was, all of that. So yeah, I had to build myself up again. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's, it's part of the healing process too, exposing yourself in a book format and your scars. Oh, absolutely. It, it's, it's part of a healing process for them as well to go back to all of that and to dig deep and relive mm. it a little bit. Mm. Um, but I think it's it's great for other people who may be going through that experience themselves and they can say, oh, actually, I, I have a choice. I can get through this. And these women are there to help them with that. Yeah. So how many women have put their hand up so far and say they want to be in the book? Oh, gosh, I had like, I had hundreds of messages from women. How did you find them? Uh, so I put it out on my Facebook page and just said, this is my idea. What do you think about it? And um, people loved the idea. And then people just, um, women just started messaging me. I sent them a questionnaire and that, that told me where they were at at that point in time and if they'd got through it or if they're still going through it. You're going to have to choose them now though, that's going to be the hard thing. <laughs> yeah, I've chosen them. Okay. I've probably got about close to 40 now that's going to be in the book. Okay, well we've got a little sample of some yeah. of them, so should we take a look yeah, and you absolutely. can explain to us a little about their story and yeah, how you came good. to involve them. So who's this here? Oh, this is Jo. So uh, Jo was in a uh, unhappy marriage and uh, she was pregnant with her second child and at five months she started to feel a little bit ill and um, so she went to the midwife and within yeah, moments she was flown to the Auckland Women's Hospital wow. and um, baby had to come out straight away because her life and baby's life was in danger and her daughter was born, Lisa, at um, was she 950 grams. Um, her marriage ended because her husband didn't want to have a special needs child mm. and um, but now Joe's heavily married 21 years later um, she's got two kids and a yeah wow. an amazing husband it's an incredible story <laughs> yeah okay tell us about Patricia Patricia so Patricia she um, she suffered depression and really pushed her whole family uh, away uh, it was a, a sort of a slow process but then the eight months it was quite intense for her and uh, she had a lot of support from her family and that, that helped to get out of it and so she's just so thankful to them that she actually was able to with a healing plan in place. Mm. And what about Nita? Nita, so uh, Nita was um, the eighth child of her family, the last one, and uh, her mum whangaid her out to her uncle and the uncle uh, ended up having a divorce and then she was sort of went to her grandmother and passed around to different people and she met her mum when she was uh, I think eight for the first time and um, she left home at 15 and decided you know yes that was my life but I'm I'm gonna do this on my own it's, and so she's become successful in her career sports and business. It's yeah, such a beautiful concept well. actually you know a beautiful portrait with a story that yeah. is here 
feeling for everyone that's not only in it but actually reading it. So shall we see if we can get one more in? Amor. Can you tell us about Amor? Oh, Amor. She's such, she's got such a beautiful aura. Um, so Amor, she uh, lost her mum. Her mum was 42 when she passed away and Amor is the uh, eldest child of her family and she felt that she just had to look after her dad and her siblings and being the eldest. And then um, she got married, had kids, and her third child um, was stillborn, so she had to deal with that. And she always suppressed all her feelings. And then um, a few years later, she, her, she lost her brother to suicide. So she lost three really close wow. relationships um, in her family, and you know, having to get through that. Um, Gosh. Yeah, it's quite challenging. Can you tell me really quickly about the Pledge Me campaign? Pledge Me campaign, yes. Well, it finishes on the 30th of April, and uh, the target is 85,000 to self-publish this book. Um, so I have full control over the stories because they are quite personal stories. And um, so at the moment, I'm just reaching 7,000. It's spreading around, and <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just helping um, get the book out there and put it into the hands of those that need a little bit of hope in their life. Oh, I'm sure that was inspiring for people to get in and back it. It's so good. Yeah. So we can pre-order the book, so to speak. You can pre-order yeah, yeah, the book. Cool. There's, and there's lots of other rewards as well on there um, to choose from. Oh, yeah, nice. Awesome. Put together. Hey, Charmaine, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Charmaine's Pledge Me campaign for her book Beautifully Scarred runs until we mentioned midnight this Monday, 30th of April. You can head to pledgeme.co.nz and search Beautifully Scarred to donate money, which will help her to get this stunning book published. Go on, we can do it. Cafe <laughs> yeah. viewers, do donate.